This video is going to demonstrate how to access the file browser that's built into Violet Builder. Um, you'll see here that here's a, a slide that I'm on and you'll notice there's uh, tabs right here thumbnail, browser, and of course uh, style sheets would also be present here. Uh, but I'm going to remove style sheets here so that you can see the browser a little better. So if you click over to the browser view this is a file browser that allows you to uh, create folders uh, that you may want to access. Maybe it's a resource on your network. Um, typically this would be for um, accessing media files as an example, but it could also be um, accessing projects as well in case you have a, a Corporate Vuelt Central and you want to upload a project to your Corporate Vuelt Central. Um, but what I'm going to show you today is just the file browser for images capability here. Uh, so if you click over here to browser and you go down, you'll see that um, Vuelt Builder by default installs a library of, of files into your uh, My Documents folder and it automatically sets up this resource location here. And if you click on this, you'll see that uh, inside that location, all of your uh, collected cursors that you that you may have uh, captured through a screen capture, all of your HTML frames, uh, default images that we've added for you, uh, macros. This is actually part of Yield Builder Seven. Um, movies, little flash movies with it that are embedded uh, inside, so that you can add those to your project. We've created for you default skins, um, soundtracks. Actually, this is just uh, sound files, and this is, would be your soundtracks. And then this would be any of your resource styles. So uh, all of the elements that you add to Vuelt Builder actually are all live in a style. And you can actually um, configure these uh, styles, actually, uh, outside of Vuelt Builder if you wanted to create your own style. And then any style sheets that you may have saved. Uh, so currently, the default style sheet here is uh, listed. So I'm going to show you really quick how to add an image to uh, your project by simply dragging it from the file browser. So I'm going to click on images here and there's a library of arrows, uh, signs, uh, response, and navigation. So if I click on let's say learning uh, elements here, you'll see that if I drag this you'll see there's quite a few uh, custom e-learning elements we've created for you that you can access. Uh, you can also expand any of these screens here by going to the expand button here and actually uh, expand this open if you wanted to look more deeply into a, a folder. We can click on any of the other folders here. You'll see some of these navigation buttons. You may want to create your own navigation on a project. So we've uh, built in some styles for you that you can use. Uh, here's some correct and incorrect response options that you may have and uh, here's some signs that you may want to use in your project and then we have some default arrows as well uh, so these are all hand created by carbon for you to use so feel free to add those to your project um, let me switch back here and we'll go ahead and we'll grab one of these elements and bring it over to the slide by simply dragging it over and this now lives on your slide. So it's very easy to uh, drag and drop elements onto your project rather than having to do the um, add image folder and then browsing. You can just do it uh, right from here. So um, there's also a uh, drop down here if you'd like to change um, how those are viewed. This is thumbnail view, which is my favorite, but there's also a details view as well as an icon view. So uh, depending on what you're doing, you may want to uh, have a different view. And then once these are added, um, in fact, I'll take it one step further here. Let's add a uh, navigation element. And all you have to do, this is your, nav um, your events manager here. If you click on this, uh, you can add, let's say, an on-click action move forward one slide as an example. So very quickly you can add a navigation element and apply uh, an action to it 
to your uh, to your project. So hopefully that uh, helps you. Uh, if you need to add additional folders here, you just uh, click on Carbon, click on the plus, and you can add a local or network folder, add an FTP server, uh, or you can add your uh, Carbon and Corporate View Central connections here as well.